It has a nice floor. It has a nice fireplace. There, there are eight dollar mini blinds and you in the it. window. And you didn't Those get are it. literally eight dollar. Yep. So that shows I you I am a man. Yep. Because yep. we don't know what the hell we doing. That's all. <laughs> we, I have no window treatments worth a damn. All the women care about is the master bedroom, and not in the way you. And think. that looks shitty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll take a listen, you guys. This is the front room. And we'll be right back. Uh, Urban Foster. Do I know what Urban? Yes, I'm here. Our pianist brought us a keyboard, but I don't know what his name is. Urban? Yes. He needs a stage pedal for the piano. Okay. I'll give him an eye card. Come on, Urban. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Already I got live feed. Everybody, welcome to the Phil Perry post broadcast birthday after party. Listen, totally unplanned like this. I have absolutely no idea what they're going to do. However, I know that it will be good. For those of you out there watching in cyberspace, thank you for hanging in for the 10 minutes that it took Victor and I to run our asses from the studio. I don't have an ass. And set this up. But you will appreciate that we are now continuing our broadcast from another part of the facility. And as it turns out, the rumors are Frank McComb, Phil Perry, folks singing and playing. Do I need to bring more mics, Rick, or something? Do we need background? We have background. Who need, knows? I need a woman. It's going to be live here, y'all. I, I need a woman. Let me, can I make a pitch? I need a woman. Be reminded of your needs. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> ain't that so. There's Estella. There's DeVoe. Sneaking and eating some pork. <laughs> we got the low one. I'll let my head on the low one. Here we got it. That's that Mackie Onyx board. Keyboard turned on. Fire wire out. My mom decorated. That's why you gotta, you know what else? You gotta bring your mom in. You ain't got nothing else to do with him. <laughs> Tell her my mom, come on, mom. <laughs> she says, she wants to, she loves to help me. <laughs> That's the demo on the keyboard. I'm trying to get a sound check. Urban brought the keyboard out there with no sustain pedal. <laughs> That thing has so many damn short, I had to tw tweak and slap the little wires to get some sound. That's Dean Gress Tuesday right there, Tuesday Nunez. Yep, Tuesday. Provides the Tuesday girls, Dean Gress, jazz guitarist. Sitting there, is that Lorraine? Yep. Lorraine, one of my longtime vocalists. Lorraine Mead. Lady Lorraine. Previously, Lorraine Williams. Yeah, how do you do all that work on the floors and put $8 mini blinds up? Because you're a man. <laughs> you're a guy. I don't know. I, I have the hardest time with window treatments because it's not my area, Vic. Yeah, I keep know. looking at them going like, I don't really like what you guys keep trying to tell me for the windows. Let it flow. It's too feminine or something. You know, masculine window treatments. Yep. That reflect the bachelor manly way of life. Yes. Of men. Remember that because we think other artists need to think Frank McCall needs a channel. We think other people need a channel. 
I did build over 300. I think it's well over. I just can't remember how much over. Hmm. Tune this system up, but I wanted everybody to see that. Why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> It's free speech, but you better watch what you say. Man, this was fun. This is the part. And the thing about it, I had to be ready for anything. That's the part that keeps me nervous, right? Right. Because, you know, I'm the only tech person in there. I am the sound crew. Dick is the video cameraman and the video crew. He helps me. But it would come to like some wire, sh you know, he can't help me. But together we pulled it off. Yeah. There's Christian Commodore. And Marvin. There's Marvin Speller. See the big old big giant men? Those are my buddies. <laughs> my inter my former interns, Emel Bonte over there. By the door. That was Trey Von Haynes with you. These are all my boys. <laughs> you can tell my people, because they dress sort of like me. <laughs> Jacked up. <laughs> K dress. <laughs> That's wrong, man. Funky shoes. Everybody. You know, hear Irvin playing uh, that song. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, Irvin only, only knows the intro. And that's it. That's why he only plays the intro. That's jacked up. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm not saying nothing. Leave that alone. <laughs> The Irvin's the warm-up man who gets the equipment ready. There's Irvin Foster. He's the happy hour the man. The pianist who didn't bring us the sustain pedal. I love him anyway. He's my buddy. He's my writing partner. My partner in crime. He's from the South. <laughs> oh, what you trying to say, man? <laughs> no, just, he's, from, he's from Louisiana. <laughs> See, that's why he got up and left. <laughs> he said he's from the South, so he left. <laughs> we talk, he's like, I'm from Louisiana. What an intro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Phil Perry. Yeah. Yeah. There's a story behind the whistling. When I was a kid, my parents made the sacrifice to send me to parochial school, which meant... Yeah, which meant that my dad had to work two jobs. So when he would come home from the Board of Education, he would take a nap before he would go to the next job. When he was laying down taking a nap, I couldn't sing in the house. So I would put on Mama's Arthur Prysock, Billy Eckstein, Johnny Hartman, uh, Nat Cole, Johnny Mathis records, and put them on and turn the speakers on downstairs and take one of the cushions off the couch downstairs and blow the solo that was going on in the music. And that's how my de I developed whistling. Yeah, wow. Ain't that something? I know. <laughs> wow. <coughs> well, everybody, it's Phil Perry's birthday celebration. We're all here in the living room. Wonderful guests, folks. We want to, it's a wonderful day, Phil. I want to say, you talk about how nice it's been for you, I gotta tell you, everybody, Bill Perry came out here, spent the night, so dedicated to getting this performance right and everything right for me, that they came out here, spent the night, I tried to feed them the best I could. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't look like I'm any worse for the land. Huh? And this man got up this morning and was helping take out the trash. That's the kind of an artist that he is. What a pleasure, what a humble and Wonderful, gracious spirit that he is. So it, I'm so pleased to be able to do this. And I think I understand we're going to have some performances. People haven't said even in the chat room, "Were you going to sing?" Yeah, we're we're going to I'm, we're going to have a little closed meeting with some of the musicians. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody know that we are continuing to simulcast live currently again on PhilPerry.tv. Those of you who would like to go log in right now, PhilPerry.tv. Also, PacStereo.tv, simulcasting right now. And know that later on tonight, we will be rebroadcasting 
Yeah, right. Sorry, that one didn't go off. It was the rum. One of the things that I was saying in there that I like to stress every time I get the opportunity to do this is this really is eventually going to change the playing field of how music is not only perceived, but purchased. I mean, just with the people in the room. When was the last time anybody in here went to a record shop? Mm, wow. See what I mean? They don't really our, exist. Our outlets are shrinking. And if we don't take the initiative to try something a different way, we'll, we'll be lost in the shuffle. The digital age ain't going to be for everybody. I just want to make sure it's going to be for me. Before we go too far, I feel bad because I do need to acknowledge the people who have helped to pull this off today. Because Vic and I do a broadcast. There's no way I can handle a broadcast and entertain people and point them out to where the restrooms are and meet them and greet them. And be the secondary and primary engineer at the same time. Uh, but I ask friends and family to help me out. So I, I have to thank first my mother, Evelyn D, who tipped in to decorate and set up there. Got the room together for Phil. I want to Mama, thank you. Over there somewhere. Mama. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> you all met. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, Ma. Mario's thanking you for all the time. Hey, Mom, where's my stuff? That's my oh. oh. Glad you made it back. Glad you made it. This is Zinja. She's a cute, cutie, cutie pie. Mm -hmm. That's a left. Look at that's looking good. Look at the left. Look at Stella looking good. Those are two of my old girlfriends, y'all. Conspiracy. <laughs> Gotta put them to work. Make up on his dates. <laughs> what my mother would go, what we gonna do? <laughs> See, my mother right now is cringing. She's what we gonna do? Son, I, you know I did not teach you to say what we gonna do. You know, that's that's just Jacksonville coming all out in that voice. Jerry Foster. Mm hmm They are trying to get this sustained. <laughs> and after this, we're going to have the new new sports and the hot picks. influence. 